Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting up Haldor Ice Pelt from start to finish. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming who sent me in the miniature 8 for review. If you check the description box below you'll find a direct link to their web store and every time you purchase something from that link it greatly helps my YouTube channel by directly funding me. So if you do purchase anything from Goblin Gaming I really would appreciate it if you use that link. In this tutorial I wanted to paint Leop Leopold <laughs> Haldor Ice Pelt from start to finish to the best of my ability. And by that, I actually painted all the parts in sub-assemblies as you're able to get to all the nooks and crannies and all the details much easier if you're painting in sub-assemblies. I hope you find some tips and tricks along the way in this video, guys, as I took about seven hours to paint it. I've edited the footage down as best I could. Some of the footage isn't the best as I'm holding tiny little pieces on uh, cotton bud sticks. And it's really hard for me to get the camera to focus on such tiny uh, objects so I've cut the videos best as I could and kept the best footage I had so hopefully um, you enjoy this tutorial okay uh, as always it's going to be a very long tutorial so go grab yourselves a nice hot drink or maybe an ice cold beer and we'll get started with the tutorial As I mentioned a moment ago, all of the parts are going to be painted sub-assembled. So the legs are separate and all the other components are separate. Uh, so the shoulder pauldron, the two arms, the backpack, the head and so on. I'll start off by priming all the parts using Alclad 2's Lacquer Primer Grey. It's really important to note guys that this is very harmful if inhaled so please make sure you're well ventilated. I have a spray booth and wear a respirator and uh, I'm safe to um, spray this lacquer. Um, also it's important to note that the airbrush that you're using needs to have PTFE solvent proof packing seals otherwise it will eat through your rubber seals in uh, your airbrush so make sure your airbrush has PTFE solvent proof seals before you use Alclad um, lacquers. I'm priming at about 20 psi here and I'm working at about two to three inches away from the model. The reason I use Alclad uh, primers is they go down super smooth, they're really thin and they're much harder wearing than the polyurethane equivalent primer. Now we're going to base coat the mini, I'm going to use Vallejo Game Air Somber Grey. Here I'm working at between 15 and 20 psi at 2 to 3 inches from the model and I'm building up the paint layer nice and slowly. going to use a 50-50 mix of Wolf Grey and Somber Grey from Vallejo Game Air. I'm going to mix them into the airbrush cup, so one drop of each, and I'm going to start highlighting the Space Marine. Hopefully you can see on camera guys that the highlights are going down the centre of the legs and towards the bottom of the legs and the centre of the panels on the side of, it, of his legs.
I'm going to airbrush Troll Slayer Orange. To be honest guys, you could mask your miniature here uh, to make sure that it doesn't get on any of the grey bits, but uh, I personally thought it'd be just as quick to tidy up all the overspray, uh, going back in with somber grey, um, wolf grey mix that I had in the airbrush. So um, I'm just not masking here, I'm just going straight over uh, the two shoulder pauldrons and the kneecap of uh, Ice Pelt. coming in with Vallejo Game Air Gold Yellow and I'm going to highlight those um, shoulder pauldrons and the knee pad. As you can see I've got some overspray here but it only takes me two or three minutes to tidy that up coming back in with a somber grey and wolf grey 50-50 mix. Here I'm going to be painting triangles and I start off by doing little um, lines and then I work the triangle from the lines as it's easier than trying to start off doing a triangle on its own. All of the ribbon under the armour panels are going to be painted using Vallejo Game Air Black. Haldor Ice Pelt's sword is going to be base coated using Games Workshop's base paint corn red. Here I'm adding very subtle chips using Vallejo Game Air Charred Brown. I'm only adding tiny amounts of charred brown to this tiny little sponge and most of the paint has been uh, dried off on some kitchen roll so I'm only getting tiny tiny chips. Games Workshop's Carabao Crimson is washed onto the sword. Ammo by Mig Jimenez Light Rust Wash is going to be applied to some of the chips on the knees. Games 
workshops, Mephisto and Red is going to be highlighted onto the sword. Leo Gain Air Earth is going to be placed onto the base of the miniature and also to the pelt that's on his um, waist area. The Army Painter's Quick Shade Strong Tone, which is an equivalent of Games Workshop's Agrax Air Shade, is going to be painted onto the base and also the pelt. Vallejo Game Air Earth is going to be used again, but this time I'm using it on the pelt that's on the torso of Haldor Ice Pelt. Dark Star's Molten Metal Royal Gold is going to be painted onto the Chester Killer of Ice Pelt. Here I'm going to be wet blending Games Workshop's Mournfang Brown into the pelt. Don't worry if it looks a little messy because as we go to highlight the pelt later on in the video, any lines that don't look completely neat will be tidied up in the highlighting stage. Unfortunately, I've got very little um, footage of me hard edge highlighting the miniature, but all of the power armor gets highlighted using um, Vallejo Game Air Wolf Grey, and it's a neat mix, so uh, straight out of the bottle, and I use the... Now we're going to use the Army Painter's Quick Shade Strong Tone to shade the pelt. Now I've thinned it down one to one with water so it's not as strong.
James Workshop's layer paint screen skull is going to be dry brushed onto the pelt. It's important to use the crep brush. I'm using Games Workshop's medium dry brush here and I've removed pretty much all of the excess paint. And here you can see that I'm very gentle in just brushing over that pelt and it catches all the extreme details and it's going to highlight it lovely. Vallejo metal colour is going to be painted onto all of the metallics and here you can see that it goes on really thin but with really great coverage, really like this paint. Here I'm using Vallejo Metal Color Gunmetal and as you can see just like a moment ago on the sword it goes down lovely. It's time to paint the face. I'm going to use Fair Highlight by Reaper Master Series Paints and I've thinned it down one to one with water and the reason for this is that the face is the most crucial part of a miniature and you want to make sure that the paint goes down really thin and painting multiple layers. If I remember correctly it took three layers to get a solid even coverage on the face. Now we're going to use the Army Painters Flesh Wash. I really love this flesh wash. It gives a great tone to uh, flesh tones. I'm coming back in with flesh highlights again but I'm being very careful to leave all of the flesh wash behind in the recesses. I also add a tiny little bit of grey to this mix and I stipple on the top of the um, head to create like a five o'clock shadow if you like on his head so it looks like some stubbles growing through uh, the top of his head.
And here we have our finished Haldor Ice Pal. Now I had great fun painting this miniature and the most important message for this miniature is that if you want to really take your time on a miniature and lavish with it as much detail as you possibly can then I highly recommend painting in sub-assemblies. I also want to say a huge thank you once again to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. If you check the description box below there'll be that link that I talked about at the start of the video where you can purchase all your hobby uh, products from. I'm going to be selling Haldor Ice Pal on eBay guys as the funds will go into helping me uh, get even more great projects up on my YouTube channel. So I'll put a link in the description box and also in the comments field below and anyone that's interested in possibly uh, making me an offer on Haldor Ice Pal uh, please go over to my eBay and uh, happy bidding as the saying goes. Lastly I want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you guys out there that's taken the time to watch this very lengthy video. I know it's a long video guys but I hope you picked up some tips and tricks along the way. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.